So in this video, we are going to uh, discuss about equity, its features, advantages and disadvantages. So in this series, uh, we are going to, uh, you know, cover everything from the basic to advanced. So please uh, stay tuned till end of this uh, uh, the series and, uh, you know, discover the surprising transformation. So uh, let's get uh, started. So first question is what is equity or common stock or ordinary shares cap shares capital? So in this, uh, so equity is typically uh, refers to uh, shareholders ownership in the company. So if you own the shares of the company, your uh, your equity in that company represents your ownership uh, stake. Okay, so for example, if you own 100 shares of a company that has total of, uh, let's say, 1000 shares outstanding, so you have an equity stake of 10% in that company. So based on your ownership, you are entitled to receive dividend, that means the portion of company's profit, and also you will have a voting right. So Common stockholders also, uh, you know, are, uh, are, are at the bottom of the primary ladder of ownership structure. When I say that, what it means. So, for example, at the end of the liquidation, the bond holders or preference shareholders and other debt holders are paid first before the equity shareholders. Okay, so to answer this question, you can say the equity or a common stock represents ownership in the corporation that gives a shareholders a right to vote in the company's meeting and also an in, in income in the form, form of dividends from the corporation's profit. So common stockholders are on the bottom of the priority ladder for the ownership structure. So in this event uh, of the liquidation, the common uh, shareholders have a right to company's assets only after bondholders, preferred shareholders and other debt holders have been paid in full. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. The next question is uh, features of common stock. So what are the features of common stock? So first feature is owned capital. So as we discussed in the previous uh, question, the shareholders are the owner of the business or owner of the company. So uh, they own the capital. They are the owners in that company, right? So um, second feature is attached rights. When we say rights, they have a certain right. Uh, for example, uh, you know, voting rights. So a voting right for taking crucial de decisions related to, you know, company. Then, uh, you know, dividend entitlement. So shareholders may receive dividend, right? So if company makes a profit and uh, if they want to distribute that profit uh, amongst the shareholders, then they are entitled to receive the dividend, okay? Next is equity holders have a right to access certain companies' information, right? So these are the certain rights that can be exercised by the equity, uh, equity holders, right? Ret next feature is return on shares. So as uh, you know, uh, as we uh, discussed, so whenever the company makes profit and if uh, they want to share that profit with the equity holders uh, in the form, you know, uh, in the form of dividend, then they are entitled to receive that dividend. Okay. Our uh, next feature is transfer of shares. As we see, equity share equity shares can um, be easily traded. Uh, on the exchange okay so one can buy or one can sell the security easily and it can be transferred from one uh, you know uh, investor to another investor right uh, the next benefit uh, you know the next feature is benefit of rights issue okay so when we say right issue what is right issue so whenever company uh, you know wants to raise additional capital so in that case, they can, you know, give a preference to the existing shareholders and there is an opportunity to purchase the additional shares at the discounted price, right? So, uh, you know, the additional, so we can say that the issue of additional stock of the company at the discount due to loyalty and goodwill, right? 
So the next uh, feature is uh, benefit of bonus shares. Okay. So whenever a company, uh, you know, makes a profit, so instead of sharing that profit in the form of dividend, they wants to share that, uh, you know, benefit in, in proportion to the existing holders when the company makes a huge profit. So but that profit is shared, uh, shared in the form of additional shares. Okay. So existing shareholders will get additional shares free of cost. So they don't have to, they don't have to, uh, you know, um, pay for it. Right. So it is a free of cost. So these are the features of common stock. Now let's uh, move on to the next question. Next question is, what are the advantages of common stock? Okay. So the first uh, advantage is dividend. Okay. So whenever a company makes a profit and, uh, you know, they want to share that profit, um, you know, in the form of dividend, then that, you know, so the equity holders are entitled to receive that dividend or uh, share of profit. Okay. Capital gain. Sometimes, you know, if you're, uh, you know, holding that security for a long period of time, so there is a capital appreciation, the prices of the, the price of the security uh, gets increased, then there is a capital appreciation, right? So uh, in case company performs very well, so there will be, uh, you know, increase in the profit or we can say the capital appreciation in your security that you are holding. Then limited liability. When we say limited liability, so the shareholders are, you know, are, uh, or rather, you know, their liability is limited to the number of shares that they are holding, right? So, if you, let's say, if you are holding 10% of stake in that particular company, then you are entitled, uh, or you can, you, we can say that your, libel, uh, your liability is limited to that 10%, not 100%, right? Then ownership rights. Yes, uh, we have discussed already discussed that you are if you are if you are holding a common stock or equity uh, shares, then you are the owner of that company, right? Right issue, of course. If you are uh, you know if you if company wants to uh, issue additional capital then uh, you know the, the pro first preference will be given to equity holders and they will get uh, uh, you know shares uh, at the discounted price then bonus shares of course the benefit of bon uh, equity holders will get the benefit of bonus issue they will get uh, uh, you know additional shares at the free of cost right so these are the advantages of the common stock now let's move on to the next question that is, what are the disadvantages of the common stock? Okay. What are the disadvantages? The first is dividend fluctuations. Okay. Dividend fluctuations means the returns are not fixed. So, whenever a company makes a profit, okay, sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes company may make a profit, sometimes may not make a profit. So, if company makes the profit, and if they decides to uh, distribute that uh, profit amongst the, uh, uh, you know, the shareholders, then only they will get the uh, dividend. Otherwise, not. Okay, so that is a disadvantages of the common stockholder. Then market fluctuations. Of course, if there is a, uh, you know, fluctuation in the market and if there is a depreciation of the capital that is invested for example if you invested initially let's say 1 lakh rupees in particular security of you have or let's say you have a portfolio and tomorrow there is a you know um, a fluctuation in the market the market um, uh, you know there is a correction in the market probably you will raise uh, you know uh, probably you will lose your capital right your there might be a depreciation in the capital initially invested 1 lakh rupees might get reduced to 50,000, 60,000, depending upon the uh, price fluctuation in the market, right? So that is a disadvantage of the common stock. The next one is limited control. 
of course the control of the company is limited to the amount of stock you are holding so uh, let's say if you have a 20 percent stake in that company you will have a limited control up to that you know 20 percent of the stakes that you are holding okay so these are the disadvantages of the common stock now let's take a pause here and uh, let's catch up in the next video um, so thank you very much